वेलकम टू ट्रेन द माइंड सुलेक्शन फ्रॉम सदवाणी अ कलेक्शन ऑफ द टीचिंग ऑफ श्री आनंद महिमा वेजिटेरियन पार्ट वन ऑफ टू ऑन वर्ड ऑफ विजडम श्री आनंद महिमा इज अ बिलोविड हिंदू सेंट हु ग्रेस डॉट प्लैनेट फ्रॉम एटीन नाइंटी सिक्स टू नाइनटीन एटी टू शी वॉज बोर्न इन द विलेज ऑफ खेरा इन प्रेजेंट डे बांग्लादेश her name anand mahima was given to her by her devotees and means joy permeated mother in sanskrit she attained self initiation at 26 years of age her saintly qualities have been widely recognized and have also been mentioned by paramhansa yogananda in his book autobiography of a yogi as follows i had instantly seen that the saint was in a high state of samadhi utterly oblivious to her outward garb as a woman she knew herself as the changeless soul from that plane she was joyously greeting another devotee of god she traveled throughout india and bangladesh teaching the importance of living a god centered life everyone could be in tune with the divine and every opportunity in one's life be it work or family done with sincerity love and devotion would enable one to walk the noble path she was a vegetarian with a compassionate love for every living being her acceptance of all faiths and backgrounds along with her universal teachings of divine love and joy has enabled countless people from different walks of life to benefit from her wisdom shri anand mahima was renowned for her realization of a joyous self sufficiency and ability to lovingly connect with people through her spontaneous discourses kindly directed at the individual audience to enable greatest understanding today we are delighted to share selections from the book sadvani a collection of the teachings of shri anand mahima recorded and translated by her devotees bhai ji and atmanand respectively whereby the venerated saint expounds on ways we can become closer to god in the field of action people's minds become crippled by the lack of freedom to proceed in their own way the same is true in the sphere of religion if the aspirant does not find scope for a wide extension of his search in keeping with his individual temperament his efforts will stagnate in narrow grooves the path that has been chosen must be pursued with great vigor in order that purity of mind and heart may be developed when the goal is ever before one is a living reality all that is needful will come of its own accord to be attracted means to become transformed whenever you feel drawn to anything be it a person an object or an idea you have to sacrifice something of yourself in the exact degree that you give up so will you receive this is an axiom of life to gain everything without letting go of anything is never possible for the simple reason that two things cannot at the same time occupy one and the same place that is to say without sacrifice nothing can be achieved the more the heart becomes filled with the love of god the fainter will grow the appetite for material enjoyments the moment you become charmed and therefore transformed and inspired by him your mind will be stilled true it is not possible to be fascinated by him unless his pull is felt from within yet a determined effort to ever look forward to this experience is essential as a businessman always keeps himself informed about the market rates so should one constantly remain occupied with spiritual inquiry and investigation in the midst of limitation if one line of approach is selected and steadily pursued the bond of limitation will fall away as soon as one becomes fully concentrated on the goal then the one will stand revealed as the many and the many as the one in order to be blessed with the power to reach infinity one must begin by laboring within the finite so long as one is identified with the body it is necessary to submit to the rules and prohibitions set forth in the sacred texts this requires patience and endurance nasar although itself in constant flux never accords help to anyone in his restlessness then stays on the path first of all 
the desire to find God is conceived. Second, one begins to hanker after Him restlessly. Third, the eagerness for union with Him grows overwhelming. Fourth, one resorts to all kind of clever devices to reach the goal. Fifth, there is intense yearning to soar up into the heights of divine contemplation. Sixth, tears of longing for the beloved are shed in great profusion. Seventh, one wants to swim in the ocean of bliss. Eighth, day and night God's name is repeated in order to realize Him. Ninth, forgetting oneself and awakening of great love for God. Tenth, the search is over, self-realization is attained. Without experiencing the anguish inherent in the mechanism of life in the world, the desire to become acquainted with the great mechanic, Orientri, who causes the cosmic machine to revolve, does not arise in the human heart. Disease, grief, privations, remorse and the like are very necessary for man. Just as fire burns away all dross and rubbish, so the threefold suffering or three tapa purges man's heart from all impurity and results in a growing single-mindedness in his search after truth. When he becomes deeply conscious of his weakness and tormented by the thought of his undesirable impulses and distressing characteristics, when affliction like poverty, bereavement or humiliation make him feel his life is futile, then and then only does he develop real faith and religious fervor and becomes anxious to surrender himself at the feet of the Supreme Being. Suffering should therefore be welcomed. Never does the soft moonlight appear more soothing than after the scorching heat of a summer day. You all say, I want to find God. I want to find God. But are you really seeking Him with your whole heart and mind, with your whole being? Just watch and you will see. If you are in dead earnest, you are bound to find Him. Do you know by what signs a true seeker can be recognized? If you pine for Him as a shipwrecked traveler longs for the shore, as a bereaved mother yearns for her child, if you desire Him with such eagerness, you will find that He is with you every second, day and night. You pray to Him for good things of this world. And this is why He bestows on you riches, family, friends, position, and so on, which make you forget the real treasure. Seek Him solely for His own sake and you will certainly find Him. There is nothing in the universe that may be treated with disregard or contempt. He acts His divine play in infinite ways, through infinite forms, and in an infinite variety of settings. Without appearing as the many, how can this play be staged? Do you not see how light and darkness, joy and sorrow, fire and water are inextricably linked together in one unbroken chain? Remember that spiritual endeavor must be coupled with purity of heart to the extent that we harbor unkind or narrow thoughts, we increase the cause of evil in the world. What necessity is there to pay attention to what others have or have not? Far better to be intent on your own improvement. If you can develop inner beauty and enshrine Him, the ever-beautiful, in the glorious temple of your heart, you will then be able to perceive beauty in everything. For more information on Sri Anandamai Ma Vegetarian, please visit anandamai.com. It's a small thing to help one animal, but to that one animal, it's a big thing. Gene Bauer, vegan. Spiritual viewers, thank you for your company today.